This explanation I can make as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. But in this video I'll try to explain in a very simple way. Before getting into this video there's two things that you should know. The first one is my large cap swing strategy because that's the stocks we're trading on and the second one is options. You should have a basic understanding in selling puts. I have videos on both of them either in my free course or in my YouTube. So if you still did not watch those videos, make sure you watch them before continuing this one. So let's start. So you know when you're selling a put, you have an expiry and a strike price. If the price expires below the strike price, you need to buy 100 shares at the strike price and you chose, plus you collect the premium. And if the price is above your strike, you just collect the premium. So from this you can understand that you can make money even if you're wrong in the direction. So let's combine these two things into my strategy. So this is the backtest of the strategy. There's 279 trades. This is if I took all the trades within my filters. But of course I don't take all the trades whatever I see because I do some fundamental analysis and I filter out some trades. So you see... So you see, in general, it has 83%, 84% win rate, and my average winner is $10, and my average loser is $5. So what I basically do that is I take the average of my losses, and I try to sell a put lower than my average loser. So this is my strategy. I'm trying to find stocks that are in a channel, and many indicators showing a buy signal like the demarket indicator, the MACD, stochastic RSI. So once the stock moves at the low of the channel, let's take for example it's at $50, that's where I'm going to buy and I expect a bounce back from that level. This way of trading based on the backtest and from my trades, it provides me more than 85% win rate. And now you know that my average loser is $5. It's an average, it's not a percentage. So let's take an average and sell a put $5 lower from my entry. At this case, at $45. At the strike price $45 and an expiry after 30 days, that's where the time decay will have the most effect on. So now the stock can go anywhere you want, even it can be in a loss from the position that you started in. You just want that it expires above $45. And if it expires above $45, that's where you're going to collect the premium. If it's close to $45 and you don't want to get exercised for 100 shares, you can just close your position. Most of the time it will be again in profit because of the time decay. Now you're going to ask, wow, this is a 100% win rate strategy. It should be really profitable. But there's a downside for this. The downside is that the premiums will not be high. Yes, it has a really high win rate, but what I care is consistency. With this strategy, you're going to be really consistent and you, you will always be able to generate an income. But that income won't be as high as you expect because the more out of the money you go, the lower the premium will be. But again, as said, consistency is key in trading. And once you see the power of compound interest, that's where you're going to grow. And once your account grows, that income, which is low percentage, will be high to make a good living. Now you understand the concept and you understand that you can make profit even if you're wrong in the direction, as long as it expires above the expiry. You know the theory now? I'm going to show you some real examples on my trades. So when Tesla was dropping with my option trade, I went long when it was 607. At that point I sold a put at $500 and the premium was around $17, that's my average. So that's where I sold the put and it went back to break even. But at that point with the option trade, I was in 60% profit. Why? Because of the time decay and implied volatility and some factors. If you went in with shares, you would be break even at that point. But with options, I was at 60% profit. This is the trade on Tesla you can see. June 18, 500 put. At 16.19, I went short on the put and it went to 4.7 which is 1.1k profit 
If it expires above 500 before June 18, I'll collect the whole 1.6k profit. Same thing on PLTR. I sold a put at the bottom. You can see I shorted when it was 1. It dropped to 0 0.12. I took profit. Same thing with Microsoft. And many more examples like plug. I think you can see the pattern on the options whenever it goes to the direction that you want you'll directly get into 50-60% profit which is really good when you're selling options because your maximum potential is 100% if it goes to 80% profit I just take because it's almost my maximum potential